Okay, this is our new solar ground mount array. We have four of the 400 watt bifacial tail sun panels on here. But first we'll talk about the hardware and then we'll get back to the panels here. So this is all made with pressure treated wood. There are three posts holding this in the ground. Um, they're four by six uh, posts and they are originally eight feet. Uh, I know you can buy them in 12 feet, but I can't uh, fit 12 feet in my wagon. So we got eight footers. And all the uh, other wood is all two by sixes. Again, all pressure treated. So let me show you that here. So you got three posts holding this. Uh, these posts were put four feet in the ground and they each have 300 pounds of concrete on them. And uh, these posts are 24 inches above the ground. That's where we cut them off. We didn't want this array very high in the air. Of course, the lower it is to the ground, the less wind it will catch. Um, this bolt here, this is a galvanized 7 8 inch by 8 inch bolt. Um, when I did the research on these, these can take up to 60,000 pounds per square inch. So they should be pretty sturdy for what we're doing here. Um, and we use super strut to mount these. Now, a real quick tip, if you're doing a lot of research, if you have this bolt here, this is a two inch bolt, a galvanized bolt, if you have it right against the panel, then it won't, it, the, the uh, square washer here will stay pretty straight. It won't go like this. Uh, so if you have the bolt further out this way, then it will start to tip like this. But if you have the bolt pretty much flush against the panel, then it's gonna stay pretty square. So just a, a quick tip for you guys on that. I believe these are uh, 3 8 hardware, so 3 8 inch bolt, 3 8 inch spring nut, again, and standard super strut. See here that uh, got this super strut here at Lowe's. So, again, it's very nice. This is so easy to tilt, guys. It just tilts so up easy and down. I got this from another YouTuber here, and um, I'll put the name of the channel here and maybe a screenshot of the video I saw here and perhaps put that also in the description of the video so you guys can find that. So his video was extremely helpful as far as building this and playing this out. Now temporarily, um, we have these, uh, we have four of these vortex screws here holding it in case there's any sudden wind or anything. Again, it's, this array is not very high off the ground, so I don't expect a lot of issues with wind, of course, but just in case. Each one of these vortex screws is a 16 inch vortex screw. Each one's capable of 425 pounds. And so I have four of these here. So you're talking about 1,700 pounds of securing force as of right now. And these are just temporary. These are just something I put here temporary until I can come up with something a little bit better. Um, but anyway, I have four of these, two on the front and then two on the back, as you'll see. Now these uh, 400 watt tail sun bifacial panels so you got 1,600 watts of panels here, but because they're bifacial, you actually get some bifacial gain. So I have seen, when we first got this, the panels, we had to buy 10 of these, um, which is a really good price from a Signature Solar. So we got 10 of these. And at first we didn't have the ground mount array built. So we put these in chairs and I'll put a, a picture and a video here of that. So what we did at first to utilize them before we could get this built. Um, a lot of planning and uh, research went into building this. Um, so, but anyway, um, I have seen up to 1,840, 1,850 watts of power coming from these four panels. So 240, 250 watts above the 1,600 watt basic rating for the 400 watt panels. So you definitely do get some nice bifacial gain from these tail sun 400 watt bifacial panels. And going again here with a super strut. Um, you can see I space these just enough so the flat washer does not overlap the panel. And I did that on all of them. There's the other vortex screw there. And here's the two on the back holding it. Again, this tilts very easily up and down, so it's it's amazing. It's a really, really solid, um, well-designed array this YouTuber had built. And this is the design we copied for this array here. We didn't need a, a super huge array. We just wanted to put four of these panels in the yard. And so um, this is why the array is not huge. You could make this larger, of course, if you wish to, um, but we didn't need that for our needs. Now, 
as I said, these were um, eight, in, eight foot posts, these four by six posts. And uh, I'd actually bought an extra post uh, for the blocking, because if you see the video, you have these blocks here that help make, uh, you know, square these up and, and secure the boards and stuff to them. And so because we cut these 24 inches, I had enough wood from that to make these blocks without having to cut a, a whole new piece. And so that worked out really, really well. And let's see if I can get this in the video. See these cross sections here that tilt, um, these are only 64 inches long because of the size of our panels. And we weren't putting multiple panels on here, we were just putting four. And so these are only 64 inches long. At first I thought I might need some cross bracing like here, like you'll see in the video that the guy did. Um, but his array was a lot larger. And I realized that because our array is a lot smaller, we didn't really need that extra support. And then you can see it, the super strut running across here, which is also bolted in this array, also gives it some extra strength crosswise. So, and just so you know, for this build, we had to use four pieces of super strut because basically super strut's 10 feet long. So one piece on the top, one piece on the bottom for the first two panels, and then another piece on the top and bottom for the other two panels might be able to see the overlapping of them yeah you can see it there you can see that where they kind of overlapped i just kept them close to each other so um but this this so far is working really really well again very sturdy um there's an app i use an ios app there might be an app like that for android users too but there's an iOS app that gives you the ideal tilt for your panels at your geographical location. So I'll put that on the screen to show you what app I'm using. And uh, I'll also show you here in a moment, I'll show you the uh, device I use for that. You, you can use your phone to get that tilt degree, um, but I found it's better if you use this tool. So I'll show you that here in a second. Um, so anyway, right now it's the first part of April and so right now we have these tilted at 14 degrees. Um, when they were on the chairs, they were tilted at 22 degrees, which actually worked out pretty well. So the first day I actually had this array, I tilted it at 22 degrees. And then when I checked the solar wrap, as far as the ideal tilt for my location, I realized it was 14 degrees. And so I adjusted it yesterday to 14 degrees. So real quick, let me go ahead and show you the device I used to figure out those angles. All right, so this is the angle finder I use. This is a Klein Tools angle finder, and uh, hopefully you can see the model number there, the 935DAA. Um, so this is really nice. It has a magnetic, you can put this to pipes and stuff, but I'll try to keep this in the shade so you can see it here. So right now it's showing 14.9 degrees. Hopefully you guys can see that. You can also hold it if you wish. So now I have it hold on that. So uh, this is what I use. They said you can use your phone, but I have heard that that can be inaccurate. And so I got this so I can adjust the uh, array each month as needed for the ideal conditions for my location. So I would probably highly recommend something like this. I picked this up at Lowe's. Um, it wasn't terribly expensive, but it works for what we need. So I think you guys would find that quite quite useful to be able to adjust this array each month. So that's how we adjust it here. So uh, it runs off, I think, uh, two AAA batteries or two AA batteries, something like that. So you guys can look it up as you have the model number now. So anyway, that's our uh, ground mount array. And so, uh, so far looking really good. Um, I like it that it's actually very low profile, not very high off the ground, doesn't stick out as a sore thumb. So. Um, anyway, I think this is a really good uh, design. So hats off to that YouTuber that made this video, that made, made the video that I put in the screen earlier. And again, I'll have that link to that video in the description for you guys. So really solid design. All right, thanks for watching. Darling, I've been